Hi all, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Now I am going to show you, how to create skin texture in Photoshop. On the neck area, skin texture is different than face, so we need to create separate texture for neck. First of all, we have to create new layer. Just click on the new layer icon to create new layer. After that, select gray color, and fill it to created layer. To fill the foreground color to the layer, go to edit menu and select fill. Make sure selected contents must be foreground color, now foreground color applied to new layer. Now change layer blending mode to linear light. After that, right click on the layer, and change it to smart object. Why I have converted this layer to smart object, we can edit already applied filter values. Now go to filter menu, and select add noise from the noise option. Enter noise amount to 5. Again go to filter menu, this time select emboss from stylize option. Change height to 1px, and amount should be 50%. Now go to filter menu, and select Gaussian Burr from Burr option. Set radius value to 0.8px. Again go to filter menu, and this time select motion Burr from Blur option. Change angle based on the neck position. Here I set 32 degree. Based on your picture it may change. Set distance to 9. Hold Alt key and press mask button, so that you can create new masking filled with black color. Now select brush tool, and change hardness to 0. Make sure your foreground color should be white. To get more realistic effect, change motion blur distance to 5. Neck portion texture is perfect for me. Now let's duplicate this smart object layer and edit filter values, so that we can use it for face. Change foreground color to black and use the brush tool on the neck position in the duplicated layer. So that we can hide new face texture effect from the neck. Now again change foreground color to white and use wherever we want to create texture. Don't use whole area because it will lose realistic face effect. Double click the emboss to edit the value. Change height to 25 pixels. Now change opacity level to 40. We don't need motion blur effect on the face. So let's just turn off motion blur by clicking eye icon. Now this is the final output. It is perfect for me. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please subscribe my channel, and hit bell button, so that you will get latest updations from me.